Благодаря ви първо за интереса. Всъщност, днес е първото заседание на министрите, отговарящи за търговията на Европейския съюз. Това ни дава възможност да обсъдим всички основни приоритети, свързани с търговската политика. С нощни на официалната вечеря имахме възможност да изслушаме генералния директор на Световната търговска организация, както и председателя на Комисията по международна търговия на Европейския парламент. Те изразиха своите виждания относно Световната търговска организация и развитието и след 11-та министерска конференция. Очаквам днес всички държави членки да се обединят върху това, че Европейския съюз трябва да запази водещата си роля в Световната търговска организация по основана на ясни правила. По-късно ще изслушаме абсолютно всичко актуално по уверение на комисара Малстрем от включително от вчера по воденето на търговските преговори с трети страни. И разбира се, веднага след това, след като изслушаме мненията, актуалната информация, ще има брифинг, на който ще може да ви предоставим актуална информация. Сигурен съм на вашите актуални въпроси. Имате ли някакви основни притеснения или пък по-скоро въпроси, които ще поставите на тази среща? Казахте перспективи и предизвикателства. Срещата е неформална. Към момента трябва да чуваме актуалното състояние, най-вече по отношение на Световната търговска организация и докъде върват преговорите това число с по Меркосур и за Мексико, както и с други страни и ще ви уведомиме. Нямаме претеснения. Относно сделката с чест и отвука в Европейския съюз? Това към момента няма отношение по никакъв начин с този съвет. Благодаря ви и успешен ден. До скоро.
Hay que quitarle la briga antes de entrar. Yes, great person. Thank you. You have to take off your uh, when we get in. Take off coat when we get in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank, thank you. you.
Thank you. Morning. 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 Morning.
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And in Mexico, are the negotiations uh, advanced enough so that you can uh, seal an agreement in early April, uh, March, sorry. Early March? That's the, this weekend. <laughs> I can't give you a date, but we had a very productive uh, round of negotiation last week, and I spoke with the minister. Uh, there are some remaining stumbling block, as always in the end, concerning cars and car parts. Uh, I think we can solve them, so we are looking at uh, different dates when we can meet again. So yes, we want to solve this uh, before uh, d during this uh, first part uh, of the year, but I, I don't have a date yet. I think the Mexicans right this week are busy with NAFTA negotiations as well. So when that is over, we will talk again. And on Section 232, one of the options uh, looked like uh, only a quota of 100% for the EU with the higher tariffs for uh, non-EU countries. Um, would that be considered, or in your opinion, is that also considered um, something where the EU would probably retaliate, or is that something where the EU would... Well, we'll have to look at that. There are different options, as you say. That option is, is the least bad option, but it's still, uh, it could still have consequences. So we are analysing all this, and we will see what measures we will take. That could be everything from uh, going to WTO, possibly with some other uh, friends and allies who will also be affected, or other retaliation. This is what I want to discuss with ministers today. <coughs> that is one of the options, but uh, we will have to see. And again, we don't know what President Trump will do and when he will do it. And one Brexit question, what do you think of Jeremy Corbyn's uh, proposal to have a customs union? Well, we are waiting to have a proposal from the, um, from, from the government, of course, and from that we can start negotiating. So uh, I can't comment on the individual domestic uh, debate there. The Commission is ready and we hope that we can start these negotiations as soon as possible. And on Mercosur, uh, are you ready to accept uh, maybe a less ambitious deal? but to avoid, in the sake to, of avoiding another long-lasting impasse in negotiations? Well, I think Mercosur will not be exactly at the same level as Canada, for instance, because it's the four different countries and so on. But we have high ambitions, and so the, the, do they. My team is there this week to, to negotiate with them. We're making good progress. They are still some elements left to solve, as, uh, but I, I'm, I'm confident we can we can do this. What is the most uh, difficult one? Well, as always, agriculture, but also their car and car parts are difficult. Yeah. Well, there need, you needed some political input soon uh, to solve the impasse on car. There are always political inputs. We are in uh, very regular contact on a ministerial level. Thank you. Report, but we should be prepared and uh, must be clear if something is going to happen, we should uh, have a reaction and a very clear reaction. Would Europe also need safeguard measures on top of the reaction to the Absolutely. US? Absolutely, we have to talk about safeguard measures as well, and we, go, we are going to discuss. We had a discussion this morning together with Italy, France, uh, and Spain, and Germany, and we totally agree on these issues. And uh, there will be um, a preparation how we are going to react uh, if something is going to happen. But as I said, it's not decided yet what the Americans are going to do. And you expect to, to find an agreement today uh, to be prepared for the different options? Yes, I think so. I think so. This will be one of the core debates we are going to have today. Do you expect the Commission to, to provide you with uh, concrete uh, proposals, how to react no. today? Or? No, we shouldn't do so. so this, should, uh, this should be prepared, and in case 
we should be able to react. That's the main, that's the main question. But there are also other questions today on the agenda. I'll give you one idea. We're talking about Mercosur. Yeah. And um, as I said, member states will give a clear signal to the Commission that we want uh, uh, Mercosur to be finalized um, in March. We are very close. After 19 years of negotiations, mm -hmm. we are very, very close. And there should be, um, let's say, an, um, uh, a common understanding how we can uh, solve uh, the, the, the left problems. What and are the France? sticking points? What it's, about, it's about agriculture and it's about the car package. Uh, so uh, how many rules of origins um, uh, want the Brazilians for, 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 for the car sector. That's one point. And then, of course, we have the big issue of investment screening. That's very, very important because more and more direct investments coming outside from the European Union. And, um, yeah, we hope to find um, a common understanding that we are going to finalize this proposal, this legislative proposal, um, latest in 2018, because what we can see, there are strategic investors coming to, to Europe and we should uh, talk about what kind of measures and instruments can we take to have a deeper investment screening and can t take decision um, if we are, want to allow or not allow these kind of investments. And on Mercosur, uh, is France and Ireland on, Ireland all on board uh, among those countries which are ready for an agreement with I think the bloc? We had a discussion this morning. There's also great interest on the side of uh, France uh, to, uh, to, uh, to come to a solution. But there are still some details that have to be discussed in the agriculture sector on geographical indications and on the car package. But I think we, are, we were never so close in the 19 years. And if we are not going to take decisions now, then it will take another couple of years um, to start again with the negotiation and to finalize the negotiation. Has there been some progress on cars this week? Uh, on very. I, I had a couple of. T I had a, a phone call with the Brazilian minister, and he gave me the the impression mm -hmm. that they are going to think to improve their their proposal. So I hope this is going to happen. Also on the phase-out period for the cars? So the it's about the rules of origin and of course and, and the phase-out period. They indicated there might be some flexibility, so we have to wait. Mm -hmm. Because now I think the, the most important time is coming because we all know there are elections in, um, in um, Brazil this year and maybe the window of opportunity is going to, uh, to close in, uh, in March uh, this year. And Mexico? Mexico, we are also on a good track, but there are also a couple of questions uh, in the in the mm -hmm. car sector, and that is linked very close to the NAFTA negotiations. Mm -hmm. So, but I think we are on a good on a good way, and also Mex Mexico can be can be um, mm -hmm. uh, finalized uh, in a couple of weeks. And uh, last question on splitting trade deals. Uh, there was a proposal from the Commission, a pr proposed uh, council conclusion uh, for later, I, I suppose in May. Um, what, what's Germany's position here? Um, sh should this be systematically done or on a case-by-case -case basis? Um? I think it must be done on a case-by-case -case basis. We have a couple of agreements um, that uh, were um, that uh, uh, include also the investment protection. Then it's clear it's um, it's not only uh, it's not only EU only. Then you have to have also support of the member states. And I think it's very very important to show also the national parliaments that we stick to this. But there are others as Japan where we don't have investment protection inside, so it's EU only. So, th so we should be pragmatic, because there can't be a rule. If we are going to, would, would um, have a negotiation with, uh, with China on a trade deal, there must be investment protection in there. Um, so there can't be a, uh, an iron rule how to deal with this, so it must be done case by case. OK, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Je crois qu'on doit de toute façon d'abord réfléchir à ce que nous voulons faire pour ouvrir notre marché. 
Et donc on va essayer de relancer les débats au sein de l'OMC à, à ce sujet, mais réfléchir aussi ensemble à ce que sont les mesures anti-dumping. Donc s'il y a de vrais problèmes de dumping, notamment en matière sociale, il faut pouvoir prendre des mesures. Nous en avons pris, euh, notamment dans le secteur de l'acier. On essaie de voir comment travailler correctement avec la Chine sur un, un pied d'égalité. Maintenant, vis-à-vis -vis des mesures américaines, on veut faire comprendre aussi qu'un certain nombre de secteurs ne doivent manifestement pas être concernés. Donc le débat va être assez solide avec nos, nos collègues américains pour faire en sorte qu'on ne vienne pas pénaliser des secteurs sans raison. Il ne faut pas que ce soit simplement du pur protectionnisme sans aucune volonté de s'attaquer du dumping. Donc il faut bien faire la différence entre les deux. C'est d'ailleurs comme cela que l'on souhaite relancer la démarche au sein de l'OMC qui est bloquée pour l'instant. Et si on n'arrive pas à avancer au sein de, de l'OMC, on va devoir continuer à avancer sur des accords bilatéraux entre régions du monde. C'est un des débats importants aujourd'hui sur le Mercosur où nous continuons à avoir un certain nombre de préoccupations pour le secteur agricole. Il est évident qu'on doit être très attentif à, à protéger les capacités de, de ce secteur, notamment en termes de qualité. Donc de nouveau, c'est de faire la distinction entre des mesures de pure protection et puis la volonté de préserver un niveau de, de qualité pour nos consommateurs également. Donc dans le secteur de la viande bovine notamment, on va être très, très attentif aux mesures qui vont être prises pour préserver ce niveau de qualité de la production qui existe dans plusieurs pays européens. And on the U.S., do you have a uh, concrete measure in uh, in uh, in mind that you could use as Europe uh, to retaliate? First, 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 first of for steel, yeah, for but first of all, we need to discuss with our American colleagues, and we need to prove that there is no reason to put into place such a lot of measures because there is no dumping, there is no real uh, problem with the uh, European industry and certainly not in Belgium if I mean about the steel industry, we don't have any reason to see some measures coming from the US. If it's impossible, we'll try to see if it's possible to take some measures together because we need to, to stay with a certain level of unity inside the European Union. The first phase is the negotiations and we'll see if it's possible to convince our US colleagues. Not easy, yeah? we have seen that so in the WTO, we don't have the the same meaning on different issues. And I want to repeat also that uh, today we'll discuss also some regional agreements like the Mercosur, and there we have a real concern about the agricultural sector. Mm -hmm. We want to protect the quality of the sector, so not to take just a protectionist measure, measure, but just to explain that we have a high level of quality in some countries, and it's very important to uh, see if it's possible to have a, a correct evolution on that in the discussions with our colleagues from the Mercosur. Are you expecting an agreement in March on Mercosur? If it's possible to go to a correct uh, uh, agreement, why not? But we have uh, discussions about the car industry. It's not uh, the end of the, of the way. And on the other hand, I said, I repeat, we have some concern about the agricultural sector and first of all about the beef. And uh, I'm sure that we need to, to explain that we have a high level of quality and we want to maintain that for the consumers in Europe. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>
Wahrscheinlich das ganze Gebäude schon zehnmal abgelaufen.
Good morning, everybody. If you would like to take your seats, we will begin in two or three minutes. Уважаеми колеги, искам най-съвече да...